Welcome to the second video from UltimateAlgebra.com. I hope you enjoyed the first chapter and have mastered it. In this lesson, we will be learning the addition and subtraction of terms in algebra. Please master these before you move on to the next chapter because it is a step-by-step -step course and we are building a strong foundation. In this chapter, we will learn how to add similar term with the same signs and different signs, how to add dissimilar terms, how to add similar and dissimilar terms, adding of polynomials, and finally, subtraction. Before we even go into details of today's lesson, let's look at something. A term in an expression can be defined as being separated by a plus sign. Remember in chapter one, we defined a term as being separated by a plus or minus sign? We are able to make this new statement because the subtraction of a number can be defined as the addition of a negative number, such that two minus x can be written as two plus negative x. So here we can say that the two is one term and the minus x is another term and they are separated by a plus sign. Please note this new definition because we will be using it in this lesson. To add similar terms with like signs, example, 3x plus 4x, there are two positive like terms. The first thing is to add the coefficients. Add the 3 and the 4 to get 7. The next thing is to annex the common letters. The common letter is X, so place it behind the seven. Finally, prefix the common sign. Here they are both positive. We do not write a plus sign in front of a number. Our answer is therefore seven X. For our second example, we are looking at negative numbers. Observe that we have negative 3x plus negative 4x. We could have written this as negative 3x minus 4x. We are writing it this way so you can understand it better. First, you add the coefficients. These are 3 and 4 to get 7. The next thing is to annex the common letters. The common letter here is X. Finally, you prefix the common sign. The common sign is negative. So, our final answer will be negative. The answer is negative 7X. Now, we want to add similar terms with unlike signs. Here, one of the terms is positive and the other is negative. Again, 2x plus negative 5x could have been written simply as 2x minus 5x. First, find the difference to the coefficient. You'll subtract 5 minus 2 to get 3. The next thing that you do is to annex the common letters. The common letter here is X. So you have 3X now. The last thing you do is prefix the sign of the largest number. The larger number is 5 and the sign is negative. So the final answer will be negative. The final answer is therefore negative 3X. Now, to add similar terms with unlike signs where there are many terms, example, 2x plus negative 5x plus 4x plus negative 3x. Again, all the plus minus can be written as minus. First, add all the plus terms. We have 2x and 4x. We add them to get 6x. Next, 
add all the minus terms. We have negative 5x and negative 3x. We know how to go about this. This gives us negative 8x. Finally, we add the results as we learned earlier. So, 6x plus negative 8x will be equal to negative 2x. Moving on, we are looking at adding dissimilar terms. You cannot add dissimilar terms, so you just have to write them as it is. Example, 2b plus negative 5c plus 4d plus negative 3e. These are all dissimilar terms, so you cannot add them. Your answer will be just the same as the question. Your answer is 2b plus negative 5c plus 4d plus negative 3e. Next, we will look at adding similar and dissimilar terms. Example, 2d plus negative 5c plus 4d plus negative 3e. First, add all the similar terms. The similar terms are 2d and 4d. Add them to get 6d. Finally, because you cannot add the dissimilar terms, just write the resulting terms, negative 5c and negative 3e. Next, we will learn how to add polynomials. The addition and subtraction of polynomials require you know how to work with parentheses, which we will learn in the next chapter. So, let us just have a rough idea here, and we will continue in the next chapter. Example, we want to add the polynomial 2d plus 4c and 4d plus negative 3b. The first step is to open the parentheses and write the polynomial together. And since they are adding, the terms in the second parentheses remain the same. We will learn more in the next lesson. Next. Add similar terms as usual and write the resulting terms. Let's look at the subtraction of terms. We know that the subtraction of a term is the addition of a negative numbers such that 5d minus 2d equal 5d plus minus 2d. This is equal to 3d. The only new thing we will learn is the subtraction of a negative number. The subtraction of a minus number is addition. Example, we have 4d minus negative 2d. The minus negative 2d can be written as plus 2d. So, we now have 4d plus 2d. This is equal to 6d. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. We learned how to add similar term with the same signs and different signs, how to add dissimilar terms, how to add similar and dissimilar terms, adding of polynomials, and finally subtraction. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.